What is up guys? It is Wednesday, one day away from Black Friday, also known as Thanksgiving to some people. Um, I'm going to do a little pre-Black Friday Blu-ray hunting, see if there's anything out there. Time to go move, guys. It is another glorious day here in Albuquerque. It's above 60 degrees. Um, apparently there are Black Friday deals already going on at Best Buy, Target, and at some Walmart, so I'm going to try and hit all three stores and see what I can find. I'm definitely going to go Black Friday shopping again tomorrow, and hopefully there will be other deals there. Hope, I hope uh, this isn't it, so um, I'm going to go see what I can find today, and hopefully I get a few things. Yeah, smack it! I just left Walmart and they didn't have any pre-Black Friday or Black Friday uh, sales yet. They open at 6 tomorrow. Um, Target had a bunch of things out with no price tags and when I checked they were not for sale and they won't be until 6. So uh, hopefully that stack that I hid by the Pampers will still be there tomorrow. Best Buy had a few things. Nice sales going on over Best Buy. Although that Best Buy, they just it was like you had to find it. There wasn't any like center place where there were all black pre-Black Friday sales or anything. Um, anyways, I'm gonna hit up Barnes and Noble. Still got the Criterion sale going on. There's a movie I want to get. Alright guys, I got two Blu-rays with digital HDs in them for the pre-Black Friday sale. Tomorrow I will be going out to Best Buy, Walmart, and Target. Maybe any other place that has a Black Friday Blu-ray deals. And all those digital HDs, if I get them, will be for free for you guys in the next video. And hopefully I will get that video up on Friday. We got the Purge Election Year at Best Buy for $6.99. Nice slipcover. Matted finish on there. If you want this on Digital HD, just be the first person down below to say you like the Purge Election Year and that you are 17 or over, and I'll get it to you, okay? There's the front, same as the slip cover and the back, and Blu-ray, and once again, the DVD is a lot nicer on the outside. Um, this is a blind buy. I've seen Purge and Purge Anarchy, I think was the second one, um, which was good. Uh, I liked uh, the first one, but the second one I liked a little bit better. It had a little more action in it and was a little bit more realistic, if that makes sense. Uh, but I'll probably watch this tonight. The second thing I bought at Best Buy was for $6.99 as well, as Lone Survivor. I saw this movie already, thought it was pretty good, about a military unit in Afghanistan who have to fight a group of Taliban. They're outnumbered and in a very bad situation. So. Uh, if you'd like this on Digital HD, just be the first person to say so down below and uh, that you're 17 or over and that you would like this email to you and I will send it to you for free. Okay, Digital HD. And there is the Blu-ray DVD. Again, cool DVD. Crappy Blu-ray. Went to Barnes & Noble, got my last Criterion Blu-ray for this November sale. The Player with Tim Robbins. I remember this movie from a long time ago and people we're talking a lot about Shawshank Redemption and his role in that, like a year later, I believe it was. And of course, pretty sweet, nice booklet, like all Criterions have. It's kind of a smaller booklet. And uh, it has a great cast in here. Peter Gallagher, Whoopi Goldberg, Vincent D'Onofrio, if I don't think I said that right. Um, Sidney Pollack. So that's pretty sweet. I'm definitely going to check this out soon. I haven't seen it in a long time. And I got 12 Angry Men. This is supposed to be a classic movie. I've seen the clips of it and it looks excellent. There's uh, something about 1950s black and white that I'm kind of uh, very fond of. The black and white just looks crisp, clear, and awesome. Um, so, can't wait to see this movie. Definitely going to watch it sometime. It's supposed to be excellent. Um, I, I want to get The Killing. 
I don't know if I'll get, I probably won't get that this November. If there's still copies in July, I'll get it. And uh, also 310 to Yuma, the original, um, just because the black and white is so great. And I wish, I don't know if they have yet, I wish they had put High Noon on Criterion Blu-ray. It's probably my favorite Western of all time, so. All right, 12 Angry Men. And lastly, I just checked the mailbox and this came. South Park, the complete 13th season. So I only have a few left, a few seasons left, I think two seasons, including um, season 19. Um, that I don't have, but I definitely want to get all of South Park on Blu-ray. I have watched South Park almost every day. It's my favorite TV show and has been for a long time. So and it seems like they just keep getting better. Um, this this season's been awesome with Garrison as Trump and member berries and all that. So, all right. So and once again, I love these box sets too. All right, it has that Kanye West episode where he doesn't get the uh, fish sticks joke. So. I'm going to go ahead and open the latest Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty box that came in the mail. And uh, this is the first Rogue One, so I'm looking forward to this, seeing what, what's in here. <clears throat> Alright, so they have a pin of kind of the new droid. Don't know the name of him yet. Right there. Pretty sweet. And then Rogue One. The new kind of Han Solo character, I'm going to say. <laughs> Um, very famous Spanish actor, don't know his name, who plays that character for Rogue One. Looks like I have a t-shirt. Pretty sweet. It has a Death Star with Vader behind it right there. And the characters up front. Darth Vader with the red eyes like in A New Hope. That's pretty cool that they're doing that. Alright, oh, three Funko Pops it looks like. That's pretty sweet. This isn't necessarily a Funko Pop. I don't know what this is, but it's Vader. Kind of glittering. I don't know if you can see it with the reflection right there and then Imperial Death Trooper which I've seen these like at Walmart and stuff so it's not an exclusive it says it's an exclusive I don't see the difference though right there and then Jane Urso I don't know what's exclusive about these these I've seen these so if anyone knows more about Funko Pop than I do tell me what's exclusive about these let me know but still pretty cool. Basically three Funko Pops in one box. Usually there's two, sometimes one. So. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving and I'll see you on the next one.